Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our JWT authentication server. And in today's video, we're going to be hashing the passwords. So in the last video, we uh, just stored the passwords as they were in our database, which is pretty unsafe because if someone accesses our database, then they can see all the passwords. So we're going to be hashing them or just converting them to this weird random string. So even if some hacker accesses the database, um, the passwords will be safe. So um, yeah, so that's what we'll be doing in this video. We're, we're going to be implementing hashing with a package called argon2. And in the next video, we're going to be making an is authenticated malware to check if a user is authenticated. And then you can apply that to all the routes that you want only authenticated users to be able to see. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to head to source slash routes and then to the auth route. Here's where we're going to be implementing all our code. So before we actually start putting stuff, we're going to need to install a package called argon2, argon2 like this, which is going to allow us to hash our passwords. So let's go to our terminal and let's type in npm i argon2. While we wait for that to install, let's import it. So under uh, at the top, let's do import argon2 from argon2. Okay, it's, should be able to see that. Okay, cool. So it has built-in type type declarations, so that's why you don't need to install typings for it. Okay, cool. So now that we've done that, we're going to be implementing the register hashing first, and then we're going to be um, verifying that the hash is true using the um, login route. And by the way, you should you should know what hashing is. Like, try to learn it. It's a pretty easy concept, but I'm not going to be explaining it in this video. We're just going to be implementing it. Okay, so. Right over here, you can see we're creating a user and we're just setting the password to this password straight from the request.body. Now, instead of setting it over here, we need to make a variable that's going to hash the password. And instead of storing that actual password, we store the hashed password, which will be just some crazy string like this that, or some random stuff that uh, a hacker won't be able to do anything with. So, um, yeah, so. We need to create a variable called hashed password, and they're just going to set this to await argon2.hash password. So what we're doing over here is we're creating a variable called hash password and setting it to using this hash method from argon2 and hashing the password from our request.body. So now instead of storing the actual password, we just store the hashed password. Okay, so it's that simple, and we're already done with the register uh, route. Okay, now we need to go to the login route. Uh, this is a little more complex, but no, not that hard at all. So right now we have this over here. So uh, instead of checking this, if password is equal to user.password, we're going to check. So we're going to say if await argon2.verify user.password and the password. And that is basically it. So what this is going to do, it's going to verify that if this user, um, if the hash password is equal to this password. So um, when you do user dot, it shows us these are all the stuff that is in the database. So what's in the database is a hashed password. So this is just verifying that if the hash password is the right hash for the actual password that the user um, typed in. So if it is true, then this code will run. So we'll say we'll create this access token and return it to us. Else, you know, just keeps on. Oh, oops. Else, it'll just run how it's supposed to. So that's basically it. It's really simple. I just want to make a separate video to explain it, and because uh, the last video would be too long. So the GitHub repo would be in the description. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I said the next video will be is on. Is it will be is authenticated middleware. Uh, to check if a user is authenticated. authenticated. So yeah, other than that, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.